So far I've just got wheels for my new bandsaw and you'll notice these wheels are actually uh, pretty close together considering their size. I've only got about uh, not even 40 centimeters between them. But the reason they're so close together is I'm limited by the height of the bandsaw because I still want it to be able to fit it through a door. And if you look at my 20 inch bandsaw, that actually has the same amount of distance between the wheels. And the resaw height on that one is 33 centimeters. And with a blade guide all the way up, it's actually at the level of the lower edge of the upper wheel. And also the frame design, I want to play around with that a bit because this is made out of boards that are laminated together and that makes for a really sturdy joint, but I don't have a whole lot of boards like that kicking around. So the most logical thing to use is just 2x4 lumber and that is much thicker, but uh, if I just make the layers twice as thick, this joiner isn't going to work as well as it did on here. I'm just cutting up my 2x6 lumber into the lengths that I need for my new bandsaw frame. And that way I can figure out how much I need while avoiding big defects like this. And with the shorter pieces I can also joint out any bow and twist more easily. Then over the jointer to make sure all the pieces are straight and flat and through the planer to make sure they're all the same thickness. I cut four of these big triangles on the bandsaw and now passing them over the jointer to make sure they're all straight and the same. I glued two triangles to this post just to get a start on things. I used one of the big triangles to get the angle for cutting the piece that goes between the triangles, then marking the length for it, and then cutting it off, and realizing I got it backwards just in time. Then marking it on the other side, realizing that was backwards too, and then I didn't film the actual cut. So this is the front of the bandsaw. There's going to be another piece going along here, but it might actually be thick enough as it is already. But I already cut out the uh, fourth layer pieces anyway, so I'm just going to add those. This is the last back layer that goes on here, and then these braces for the prongs on here. But every time I put one of these layers on, I have to make sure that the wood underneath is smooth and flat. Just removing any sort of glue bits and whatever with a chisel so that I get a good glue bond overall. And there's always the possibility that I need to clamp it on there a bit just to uh, make it join in all the places. Which is why I need to leave the clamps on there for quite a while because then it's under tension. And if the glue is still soft while I let off the clamps, that tension could pull the glue joint apart. I'm about to glue the last layer on the back of the post of this bandsaw frame and you can see what a large overlap area I've got here between this triangular section and the post. And that's because I've got very few layers in this thing because I'm using 2x6 material. Whereas on uh, previous bandsaw frame designs I just had these triangles extend part way into the horizontal and into the post on alternate layers to uh, make a nice strong joint there, but with uh, so few layers that wouldn't work very well. So now the gusset is essentially the structural member 
more so than the horizontal beam across the top. I like to put the clamps at an angle to force these other joints closed as well. This is where I gave up on pretending that you can build this bandsaw without already having a bandsaw. You really need to have one, preferably one of my design. I'm screwing on these pieces temporarily just so I can stand it up. Quick sound check, some parts have a nice ring to them. But the way I designed this, it should be at about the right height if it's sitting on a dolly. Too much work this way. The upper wheel should end up right about here. That's a really tight fit through the door. Problem is, this door is less than standard height. 